my question is, uh, within development, there's been this trend of social entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I wanted to know what your thoughts were on that trend mm -hmm. um, in terms of specifically mm -hmm. poverty alleviation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, by and large, I think it's a great, a great trend. So it's, you know, entrepreneurship applied to, you know, uh, sort of in the nonprofit sector. That's, that's a great idea in principle. Uh, it doesn't mean that everyone who, every NGO that, that uses the word social entrepreneurship gets a free pass that they're effective. You know, that it's obviously you, being an entrepreneur means certain very definite things that you are trying to find an innovation that will benefit people, that you will f have some way of having feedback and accountability, that you indeed find something that benefits people. Like an entrepreneur does have that in the, in the, in the market. You know, a private sector entrepreneur has that in the market. And so, of course, in the social world, it's more difficult because we don't have the, the kind of consumer purchase decision as feedback to know whether what the social entrepreneur came up with was, was a successful innovation from the point of view of the, the beneficiaries that you're trying to reach. You know, so there's, you know, the, um, you know, there, there's some very famous failures also in social entrepreneurship. You know, there was this thing called play pumps where uh, someone had the idea that if you could have, um, does have give a village a merry-go-round that the children could play on that would pump water um, when the children were running around the, play, the merry-go-round and turning it around. Would be pumping clean water out of. It sounds great, right? It sounds the best thing ever, and you know everybody loved it. Uh, people loved it over and over again for ten years. It took ten years for them to realize, finally, that this was not working. It was what it was, uh, because children did not play enough to give you anywhere near enough the, the the true manual power you need to make this thing give enough water. So what it was was an extremely cumbersome pump that, you know, that when you arrived unannounced, you would see the poor children and, and usually the women of the village, you know, toiling along, pushing the, the heavy merry-go-round around, trying to pump the water. And, and, but it took 10 years for people to figure out that that wasn't working. So that's, that's the dark side of social entrepreneurship. You have to find a way that you can find out quickly if your innovation is not what people want. And if you don't have that, then you can't really, you don't, can't really earn the title of social entrepreneur. 